Welcome, in this video I'll show you how you can use the marriage bot on Discord. Now the first thing you want to do is to go onto Google and then search for marriage bot Discord and the first link should be a website um, top.gg and then you can click on that or maybe you can already see a Discord link which says invite marriage bot or maybe you even find the official marriage bot website. The URL of the official website is marriagebot.xyz if you would like to go into the official website, you can just go here and in here you can then basically see how this bot operates. Now, if you would like to proceed, you can just click on login in the top right corner of the page. And this will direct you to a Discord page where you will need to authorize your with your Discord account. You will need to click on authorize and then you're logged in. Now in here you can already see the family tree system. So the most popular feature of MarriageBot is that while you build your family, you're able to see your family tree with this command right here. I'll make sure to copy this command and uh, first we want to add the bot to our server. So we will need to click on this link here. This link is kind of hidden. So you will need to, yeah, just search for add it to your Discord server on the page. And if you find it, just click on it and it should redirect you to this Discord page. In here, you need to select the server. As you can see, this is the correct server already, gaming template. So I'm going to invite this bot to the server right here. Here are all of the, um, all of the, what is it called? All of the permissions that we're giving this bot. And if you're fine with that, you will need to click on authorize and confirm that you're a human. You can see that it takes a while. And after a few seconds, the bot has been added to your Discord server. Now, I'll make sure to go back onto the website and if we now check Discord, you can see that the bot has been added to our Discord server. You can see he joined today on November the 21st. So yeah, we can basically get started. In order to get started, you can also take a look at the commands on the official website. So here we can see m, m exclamation mark tree and we will want to use this, uh, use this command. So we will go here, type in this command right here, or you can see um, it's actually not this command anymore. We're using slash commands. So we will type in slash tree. We'll select a user and send in this message. And you can see that there is no family tree yet. So use full tree for your entire family. Yeah, and click here to customize your tree. But first we will want to actually marry someone. So we can type in slash marry. And this basically means that you propose to another Discord user or you can also use force marry. And this basically means that two specific users will be forced to be married basically. So we type in slash marry and we will select the target of myself, for example. Okay, you can now marry yourself. So we will select someone else like the marriage bot. Let's see if that works. And you can see this bot actually denied our marriage uh, proposal. So we will select someone else. Uh, this is a robot. Okay, so I will need to invite someone to the server real quick. One second. So a new user has joined this server now and I'll type in slash Mary and select the target. Uh, let's see. Th it should be this user right here. Let's see if it's possible. I will go out of the server, go into the server again, type in slash Mary and I should actually be able to target this user. Oh yeah, there we go. And now we can see, whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like you guys already relate, uh, you are already related. Um, and I am, or this Discord user, which is my second account is now my partner. If I now use slash tree or slash full tree, for example, I'll type in my username. We will now see, oh, you can see this is a premium feature. We would just type in slash tree. I'll, I'll select myself here. And now you can see, that I am married to this guy already. The reason why you saw this um, here as well is because I've already ha I've already had this bot in this server here and I've already married this person. So that is the reason why there was no proposal and, it's, and the bot also said that we are all related because you can see that I've already married this account. But that's pretty much how we can use the marriage bot and send proposals to other people. If this video was helpful, make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.